Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest upcoming videos. Today's video is on cell wall staining by Dayer's method. Now as we all know, cell wall is the outermost rigid covering of the bacterial cell. And on the basis of structure of a cell wall, bacterial cells are divided into two main groups that is gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. Now for observation of this cell wall, it is important to stain this cell wall. Now here in this video, we are going to see the procedure of staining the cell wall by Dayer's method. So let's start with it. Now let's see the aim and requirements of this staining. The aim is to stain the bacterial cell wall by using Dayer's method. Now let's see the requirements. Here we need young culture of bacterial cell, 0.35% of cetylpyridinium chloride solution, 0.5% congorex solution and methylene blue stain. Now let's see the procedure. Take a clean grease free slide and prepare a smear. Air dry and heat fix the smear. Add 3 to 4 drops of cetylpyridinium chloride solution. Now here you have to take a clean grease free slide and prepare a smear of young bacterial culture. Further air dry and heat fix the smear and after that you have to add 3 to 4 drops of cetylpyridinium chloride. Now immediately add 1 drop of congorate solution on cetylpyridinium chloride and mix them by rotating the slide slowly. Now once you add 3 to 4 drops of cetylpyridinium chloride, immediately you have to add 1 drop of congorate solution and rotate the slide slowly in clockwise direction so the both solutions get mixed easily. Further keep the slide for 2 minutes. Water wash the slide and add counter stain that is methylene blue. Keep the slide for 10 seconds. So after 2 minutes you have to wash your slide with tap water and add 2-3 to three drops of counter stain that is methylene blue. After that keep the slide for 10 seconds. Water wash the slide and observe under oil immersion. So this is the procedure of cell wall staining by Dayer's method. Now let's see the flow chart of cell wall staining by Dayer's method. First of all prepare a smear air dry and heat fix the smear. Further add 3 to 4 drops of cetylpyridinium chloride. Next you have to add 1 drop of congorate solution on cetylpyridinium chloride and mix them by rotating the slide slowly. Keep the slide aside for 2 minutes. So first of all air, uh, you have to prepare a smear, air dry and heat fix the smear. Next you have to add 3 to 4 drops of cetylpyridinium chloride and on that solution you have to add 1 drop of congorate solution and mix this both solutions by rotating the slide slowly and keep the slide for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes water wash the slide and add counter stain that is methylene blue and keep the slide for 10 seconds. Further water wash the slide and observe under microscope. Now let's see the principle. Cetylpyridinium chloride is a cationic quaternary ammonium compound. Okay, so cetylpyridinium chloride is an antiseptic in nature. It is present in most of our toothpaste and hand washes. Now why we are going to use this uh, chemical compound in this staining procedure? Because there is a reason behind it. Now what is that reason? When this compound is mixed in water, it forms positively charged cetylpyridinium ions and negatively charged chloride ions. Now here in this staining procedure, we are going to use 0.35% of 
acetyl pyridinium chloride solution now how is it prepared now you have to take 0.35 grams of acetyl pyridinium chloride and mix it in 100 ml of distilled water okay now here you then you will get 0.35% of acetyl pyridinium chloride now what happens when this compound get mixed in water it forms two types of ions it forms positively charged acetyl pyridinium ions and negatively charged chloride ions now what happens the cell wall of bacterial cell is negatively charged and when this positively charged acetyl pyridinium ions comes in contact with the cell wall they get attached to the negatively charged cell wall and makes the surface positively charged now what happens now in that solution positive ions are also present and negatively charged ions also present now here the all cell wall of a bacterial cell has negative charge on its surface okay now when the positively charged acetyl pyridinium ions comes in contact with the bacterial cell wall now these positive and negatively charged ions gets attached and the cell surface of the bacterial cell gets positive charges now what happens further further when the smear is treated with congruent solution which is acidic dye the cell wall gets stained in red color now here we have changed our negative cell wall into positively charged cell wall okay so here now on the surface of the cell wall there are positively charged ions they are present now further when we treat the smear with congruent solution now congruent solution is a acidic dye it contains negative charges so here what happens when we treat congruent solution with the stain the negative charges of the congruent get attached to the positive charges which are present on the cell wall and hence the cell wall get stained in red color here methylene blue stains the cytoplasm in blue color now once we have treated with congruent solution further we have to wash our slide and then we treat the smear with the methylene blue stain which is our uh, which is our counter stain and this stain stains the cytoplasm in blue color so this is the principle of this staining technique let's see the observation here cell wall get stained in red color and cytoplasm get stained in blue color so congruent solution stains the cell wall in red color and methylene blue stains the cytoplasm in blue color now here with the help of a diagram i have tried to show you ki what kind of observation you will get in the microscopic field so imagine this is a microscopic field and you are going to get red color cell wall and blue color cytoplasm these are the bacterial cells so you can imagine ki what type of observation you are going to get in the microscope now this was all about cell wall staining by dyers method if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching